Pilex Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out this all new, brand new cinematic hybrid Sinwoop drone frame and we're going to build it. <laughs> You're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. All right, pilot, so here's the deal. About a year and a half ago, I built this frame here. It's called the Wasp, and it's by Woodchuck FPV, and it had seven millimeter arms. This thing was an absolute tank, and it's not because of just the seven millimeter arms. It's just the build in general, from the carbon to the design to the 3D printing that accompanies it, Everything about this frame just went together well, built nice, flew nice, and just lasted forever. I mean, I beat this thing to live in death. But the reason we're here today is because this wasp designing monster has built a Cinewoop frame, and this is not version one. This is version two. This is literally a hybrid cinematic drone. So for the frame design itself, you've got your carbon frame that is built into the 3D prints. That makes this whole thing super, super solid. I can't bend it or twist it. And then you've got the top plate, which is gonna hold all of your motors and stacks and air unit and receiver and camera and all that stuff. And it grabs onto the bottom, which right here you have all the protection that you need. This is gonna be a magical build. I can't wait to build it and I can't wait to get it in the sky. So let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. So with the frame open and exposed, we can go over our parts, and you already know it, I'm going to be running the all new, brand new, ever so slick DJI 03. And the reason why is because this is a cinematic drone. I don't want to have to build and put an air unit and then run a GoPro on top. This has it built in. But if you decide that you want to, you do have a universal mount that comes with it. You can clamp anything from your DJI action to your GoPros, whatever you need, you can put it on top. But me, I want built-in footage. That makes my drone lighter, faster, longer flight times, and I have everything on board. And for our motors, we're gonna be using the Zing 2205 2300 kV motors. These things are gorgeous. They're black, so they'll match my black and white theme, and they're gonna be ever so perfect on a 6S battery. So let's go ahead and crack one open so you can see what they look like. Dang, look at that. Of course you wanna know what stack we're gonna use. So to make my life easy and to ensure that I have a beautiful flight with no issues, I'm gonna be running the all-in-one 35 amp Fat tech stack. And last but not least, we want to make sure that we can go the farthest possible. And there's only gonna be one receiver that I can really rely on for that. I was gonna run a diversity ELRS, but to play it safe, we're gonna go with a good old crossfire with the Immortal V2 antenna. And last but not least for our build, to make sure that it is as cool as possible, like I already told you, we are gonna be running some ice blue LEDs. Oh yeah, baby. And with the Cinewash drone, you may not know, there's a little groove right here and it fits the Cobb LEDs perfect. Look at that. So what that means is when you hit and crash, you will not damage your Cobb LEDs, which normally happens. You normally bump and then you got a couple spots that aren't lit up or if you hit, the, hit it right, you'll have a whole lane that stops working. All right, it's time to get this build started and I've got a huge mess here. So let's go ahead and clean this up. <laughs> All right, here is our bottom plate or AKA top plate mounting plate, whatever you want to call it. This is what we're going to be using to do most of our build because this plate right here is going to hold all of your components. First step I'm going to take is to mount my motors. There we go. All four, mo well that's eight, all four <laughs> motors ready to go lined up. So we're going to pull those off. We're going to grab our plate. What I want to do is grab the motor and we're going to run our wires towards where the ESC is going to go. 
and then from the bottom side we're going to take little two millimeter screws and put them in the bottom that's the only thing you should know about these 2205s is they are not m3 screws they are m2 screws now you want them tight you want them real tight but don't go stripping them out so we've got our first motor on mounted and ready to go and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the other three motors <laughs> all right here we go we've got all four motors on and looking good holy cow and then remember it actually flies like this so how cool is that that all of our motors just look so good i'm excited once our stack is on we can trim up these wires solder them in and we'll be on our way so the very next thing we need is our all-in-one stack so i'm going to pull that out and whoo -hoo, look at that beauty so now we're going to need our two millimeter driver we're going to need some decent screws and we're going to come through the bottom and as you'll notice these are slots so you don't have to worry whether it's 30 by 30, 25 by 25, or 20 by 20. You are covered 100% of the way. So I'm going to grab one. And actually, I'm going to probably use two. So we'll grab a second washer. Yeah, I want it nice and snug. And we're going to twist that on. Okay. So there you go, that's going to be my mounting grommet. And the reason why is for this right here, look. See that? That allows me to soft mount without having to worry about sanding this and filing it until I can fit grommets inside, which I can, and I have done it, but not my first choice. And then this still leaves space for me to send through a battery strap. Let's lock it from the bottom. All right, pilots, so now that our motors are on and our stack is mounted, look at that, looking good and soft mounted, we're ready to go ahead and wire up our motors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll these wires under like that so these three are out of my way and I can focus on this one right here. Now I'm going to get like a pre-idea, right, so just something like that, and let's just say they're going to sit just like that. And then I'm going to swoop in and cut all three. Boom. So now that we've cut them, we'll strip them. And now we'll go ahead and pre-tin them. So that's where you take a little bit of solder and you just get your ends wet. And it's really not even that much about having the solder. It's the flux that you're putting on them. And that's because the solder has flux built into it. So there you go. I have now tinned my wires. The next thing up is to tin your pads. Let's go here. One, two, and three. These aren't your everyday pads. You can see they're cut like in a C shape. Can you see that? So now I've cut the wires, I've stripped the wires, I've tinned the wires, I went ahead and also tinned the pads. Now we're ready to go ahead and solder them up. So let's go ahead and grab our tweezers. And we're going to start with the furthest one. I'm going to kind of roll and tuck, right? And then I'm going to just, boom, solder it up. Second wire. And finally, my third wire. And I'm going to cut me a little piece, just like, yay. And what we're going to do is we're going to come from underneath and then we're going to wrap around strapping that wire down so now that we've got this motor on done strapped stripped soldered the works we're ready to go ahead and hit the other three so let's go ahead and do that now all right, pilots, here we are. Now I'm getting excited because this is really starting to come together. Check this guy out. There is your beautiful AIO. We've got all four motors. They're soldered, wired. Everything is ready to go. Look at that. That's going to be our top technically as we cruise in. Woo Loving it. So the next step is to go ahead and get our, boom, let's get our air unit together. 
So we're gonna go ahead and split this open. And let's pop this guy out. Pull the tab. No, it don't work like that. Yeah, it does. Oh, oh, important notice. <laughs> yeah, don't care. I mean, I do care. All right, pull it out. There's your camera. There's your air unit, wiring. Woo! Look at that big old healthy antenna. Everything on here is gorgeous. So we're gonna mount this guy right here in the back. So with our Sin Wasp V2 comes all the 3D printing stuff that you need to build your quadcopter and one of them is the antenna mount. And that is gonna actually sit right here and because this is the bottom, it's gonna poke up just like that. So in order to do that, we've gotta have this antenna off because that's where it'll mount to. So I'm gonna undo the screws on both sides and you don't want to lose that so there you go so I've pulled off my antenna and I'm gonna set that to the side because that's got to feed through here so let me go ahead and work on that now ooh uh oh so I'm gonna to have to make this hole bigger so let's go ahead and bore this out real quick okay here we go Lock that down, let's undo this cable, and we'll plug her in. I wonder if we can put it in. What do you think of that? <laughs> I've got a propeller. Now that I'm covered in 3D printed shavings, and please be snug. Oh, it's snug. Snug as a bug. <laughs> got lucky first shot and then he's gonna jump down in the comments and go uh that's what that piece was for you just uh, de, de, and it'll connect just like that but i didn't know so our antenna is through and good look at that and it's got that upward angle i'm gonna unplug this and we're gonna deep in the couple wires we don't need so i'm not running rc i'm gonna be running a crossfire all right, pilots, if you are also running the DJI O3 air unit and you are not using the new radio, you're going to use a Crossfire, ELRS, FR Sky, Radio Master, whatever. You're going to use something along those lines. These two wires here, yellow and brown, which is ground and S-Bus, you do not need them. So let's go ahead and depin them. I will say DJI has come a long way because their old connectors would be white the pins would be silver these are gold and to add a little icing to that cake the wires were not silicone as you tried to solder they would just melt it is okay so see that that plug fits there so what we're going to need to do is hope that we can depin the correct ones and repin the correct ones and make this plug and play all right, next up, we need to hit our crossfire. I'm going to be plugging that in right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the jumper that came with the flight controller, and I'm going to just solder it right here, and that'll make my life nice and easy. Pop those back on. One and two. And I always give them a little twist to make sure they're connected properly. Boom. We'll throw that back over. And it is a lot easier if you don't fully disconnect it. Because then you're starting over with the screws. So one and two. There you go. And the last piece of that puzzle is to plug in our brand new connector. You can see it, black by white. Very nice. We're going to flip that up. And I believe it goes in like this. There we go. Boom. So that guy is now ready. Okay. All right. 
Holy cow, it's like pulling teeth. Now flip this guy over. And we only get one shot at this. A little pressure. Boom. That shouldn't go anywhere anytime soon. All right, we are so close. Let's go ahead and solder up our XT60 lead. We're gonna need to tin these pads. So we'll tin ground first, and then we'll tin our positive. Put them in continuity and give it a test. All right, close call, but we are good. And I'm gonna lock this down. And it may even hold our plate for us. So there's your plates on and adjusted. I was trying to set it now, but just not happening. So we'll grab a little bit of double side. We will lay the capacitor on it. Now we're going to make sure negatives on negative, positive on positive. And we're going to go for it. Boom. Okay, so now we need the solder and we need the iron and we secure. Okay, one of the very last pieces of the puzzle is to make this thing look good. Now, in order to do that, we're going to take advantage of this groove like we talked about in the beginning, and we're going to run a little bit of LEDs feed inside. And it's important that your creases are nice, you know. There we go, because this can easily go in at an angle, which you don't want, because then your lights are facing upward or downward, which you don't, I don't want. I want mine to face outward. All right, so here we go, and then we've got our final connection right here. Now this LED connection may not be the prettiest, but it's not really what I'm worried about. I'm worried about it just working. Because it's an important part of this beautiful drone. There we go. Okay. Our ground is connected. Now, let's see if we can finagle the positive to go right there. Oh, that went way better than the ground. Okay. I'm not a fan of either one of those, but guess what? We did it. We did it. We did it. Smart design, he made sure that the screws of the camera stuck out just a tiny bit so that way when you want to work on them, you can. And look at that, now I'm going to just tilt that upward. Alright pilots, there it is. Our Cinewasp is built and ready to go and I know you saw the LED glow. Let me show you this. We're going to power it up one more time and I'm going to use my power supply right here, ground. And positive. And we're only at 20. So when you get up to about 24, fully that's a fully charged 6S. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't have it all the way up before because, you know, we were in testing mode. But now this thing is going to be zooming. <laughs> All right, pilots, so that's going to do it for the Cinewasp V2 
to build. We built this thing from scratch, and as you can see, it is sick. I can't wait to take this thing out to the field and take it for a spin. Shout out to Woodchuck FPV for sending this out to me. I'll put a link down in the video description if you'd like to get your own. I hope that you guys enjoyed this build video. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did, and I will see you on the next one. Do you mind if I call you on FaceTime? On the West Coast, so it's late night. I'ma make time, you make time. I'ma make time, you make time. I just wanna see the top with you. I just wanna be in the drop with you. I just wanna spin the black with you. I just wanna spend some nights with you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. Only if you say so. Only if you say so. Only if you say. Only if you say. Only if you say so. Only if you say so. Yeah. Only if you say so. Only if you say. Only if you say. Only if you say so. Stop playing with me, girl. Stop playing with me. Know you wanna stay with me, so just come stay with me. We could be on the run. We could be on the go. We could be in Barcelona. We could be in Mykonos. I got things to do. Talking me plus you, I got things to do. Talking me plus you, I got things to do. Talking me plus you, I got things to do. Talking me plus you. Only if you say so. Only if you say so. Only if you say. Only if you say. Only if you say so. Only if you say so, yeah. Only if you say so. I got things to do. I'm with me by you. I'm with me by you. Do you mind if I call you on FaceTime? On the West Coast, so it's late night. I'ma make time if you make time. I'ma make time if you make time. I just wanna see the top with you. I just wanna be in the drop with you. I just wanna spin the black with you. I just wanna spend some nights with you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. Only if you say so. Only if you say so. Only if you say. Only if you say. Only if you say so. Only if you say so. Only if you say so. Only if you say. Only if you say. Only if you say so. Stop playing with me. Girl, stop playing with me. Know you wanna stay with me, so just come stay with me. We could be on the run, we could be on the go, we could be in Barcelona, we could be in Mykonos. I got things to do, talking me plus you. I got things to do, talking me plus you. I got things to do, talking me plus you. I got things to do, talking me plus you. Only if you say, only if you say, only if you say so.